We're waiting for the sign from the ref. And there it is. And we're up. Pull sails outside in, down towards the goal line. Centered. Portland playing a flat st horizontal stack. Get it upfield of the cutter. That's Jeremy Norton with the disc. I think he's going to have to be pretty big mm. for Portland to have a chance in this game. Big turnover there. See the Dogfish can take advantage early on. Number 16, James Yeager. Yeager picks up. Looks right away to his dump. It's shut down, but he goes inside with a break. Nice. Oh. Just outside the end zone. Oh, boy. Oh, and then an That's easy drop. Turn, I thought he was in on that catch. I looked I, like he jumped over. What did you think, I Brad? thought he was in as well. Interesting. It's the classic I couldn't tell if the ref called it or if he himself called it out. I, I think the ref made the sign out of hmm. the end zone on that. So Portland's got the disc on the line. Oh, that just stays up forever, but not yeah, long enough to chase it down. Right really sloppy here in the early going. Yeager will pick it up again. Dogfish. Player's getting warmed up. He's got Bellinger as his dump behind him. Vertical stack, break throw. And nice, an inside there it break is. For the score. There it is. Chris Hart with the score. San Francisco to pull. Got the fresh legs on another D-line out there. Mostly the same O-line for Portland. And you can see the wind on that pull that, that barely gets past half field. Number 24, Jeremy Norton picking up. Norton picks up. Back to Norton. He's looking for a cutter in the middle of the field. There it is. It's Burton who's also going to have to be big today, I think. A veteran of this team. There's Burden again. We're back to Norton. Looking for Burden again. Nice layout nice grab. Catch. Just Rolled out of the end zone. Still oh. not in. Oh. Norton Burden playing a two man game here. Oh, good D by Farron with his back to the disc. Norton Burton going every other there, trying to work it up. Portland had nowhere to go with that. Good D by Portland's going to start right out with the double team on the goal line. Oh, big hammer. A big hammer to Adam, but Farron is, feels it's a little too far away to lay out for. That's Kenton. Well, and there's a huck. Oh, nice bid attempt. A little long. Great bid by Ben Laurie. A little long. Number 25, Gary Dixon set to pick up for your dogfish. Let's get loud. Let's show our support. Let's make some noise. Gary Dixon brings the disc up to the line. San Francisco's in a vertical Another. stack. He hucks it. It's up. Here comes a defender. Up. Oh, what a great defensive grab by Camden Allison Hall. Using all his size. There's really a call. Calling there. We're calling a travel wow. on the throw. And that is going to be a turnover up at the goal That's line. going all the way back. I think Allison Hall will give up his great D there for the, <laughs> the field position. Yeah, for sure. Let's get loud. Let's get that defense going. Defense. 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 Oh, it's floating out defense. to the open space. Oh, Just good grab. And a valiant effort, ladies and gentlemen. But that goal was scored by number 16. Mark Burton with the score. All right, Portland set to pull. San Francisco's O-line on the field for the first time today. Got Mac Taylor, Evan Boucher. Ooh. Matt Kissman picks it up, swings it to Taylor Casino. Out to Boucher. He's wide open. He's looking for a huck. No one's going for him. Uh -oh. oh, and there's a drop by Jordan Jeffrey. Oh, he throws right into defender. Aaron Caulfield runs right into that D. So Boucher will pick up. San Francisco trying to organize their stack. Taylor takes right off. Huge huck. Boucher oh. throws it up. Taylor it up in the air. 
Pulls it down in traffic. Oh, and a wow. beautiful backhand break for the score. What a great throw. Just snapped it out there. Chris McCarty set to pull for the dogfish. Great line drive pull that gets pretty far down the field in that upwind direction. Portland picks up. Centers to Norton. Friedman's open underneath. Dishes it back. Looking for Norton on the dump. Looking for his burden. Good D by Dogfish. Not, Nothing not, much available up field. Not much going upfield, but Norton's able to run that down. He rips it inside. There's oh. for his target burden. Lays it out. Oh. No. At the back line, he can't come up with it. Great layout just off his fingertips. A little far. But as expected, Burden's going to be their big cutter today, and Norton's going to be around the disc a lot. So we're going to have to see if they have enough energy to keep it up all game long. San Francisco picks it up, brings it to the line. Quick break to McCarty. Jaeger's got it. Inside break to Dryden. Dryden looking for the dump. Breaks with the backhand. But not held on to. I think we're seeing the effects of the wind already. Those discs pop up a little bit. Yeah. It makes what you think is an easy catch a little more difficult. Norton with the disc. It's not Camden, much available. Oh, Ooh, dangerous, dangerous collision. There's an injury. Chris Ouch. Hart is down. Throw into traffic. Got Bellinger's his dump. Mac Taylor in front of the stack. Releases to Taylor. Backhand. Floats up. Plenty of time in the layout bid. Oh! Huge second effort. Coach Safty trying to call a timeout from and the sideline. Gets it. He gets it. So San Francisco took uh, that opportunity to get some offensive players in. I think Safty was waiting for the D-line to advance the disc a little bit. Tyler Grant into the game. Uh, we'll pick up the disc. Looks like Portland will come right out with the double team. Dogfish are spread throughout the end zone. Mac Taylor makes a cut in, gets the disc. Swings it to Jeffrey. He swings it to Boucher. Not a lot going on upfield. There's the inside break, a nice grab by Caulfield. Taylor with the disc, looks for the back around break. Nice work. Used the whole field there. So Ian Ranahan will pull for the dogfish. They're up three to one now. Great job by the dogfish on that last point, being very patient, swinging it around and getting it into the end zone. And an upwind, upwind break by the dogfish there. That's going to be big. Not many breaks that direction. It's Kenton with the disc. Portland content for the make short throws. San Francisco playing their little junk D. They like to play to go in this direction. In the Boxer Stadium breeze. There's Eli Friedman back to Kenton. Swing to Bjorkland. Expect Bjorkland to step up and make some plays today as well. Uh, oh. oh, moving a little too fast. He got it moving well. They want to keep it going. Uh, but he took his eyes off the disc there, I think. So Dixon picks it up. Gonna have to look to his dump. Uh oh. Right. And there's a point block by Friedman. So Portland with a fantastic opportunity here. 20 yards out of the end zone. They're in the vertical stack now. San Francisco going man-to-man D. Ryan Hand gets around to cut off that continuation. Ben Laurie was just running horizontally across the field there. Portland being very patient. And there it is. Nice patient work swinging the disc back and forth in front of the end zone until they were able to take their shot. 
Ray, this is a big game for the Dogfish. They need to hang in there, and uh, they're going to be a different team when Drew Kim comes back. He offers um, quite a bit of, um, you know, offense handling. He's a great handler. Yeah, he's really going to make a big difference coming back for sure, and his energy that he brings yeah. too. He's an exciting, excitable player. Pulled deep into the end zone. Nice pull. Tyler Grant has to come back into the end zone for that first pass. I'm still in the end zone. Grant and Meyer playing a two-man two game. Uh-oh. Oh. An unforced error by Tyler Grant there. Unusual. There's a break. Forehand around. Not an easy shot. Just like that, all tied up. 3-3. Three, three. Yorkland with the score. San Francisco doesn't really have a lot of depth on its O-line. It doesn't have a whole lot of players that can and swap in. It's not going well for the O-line. You're going to see Mac Taylor, Jordan Jeffrey, Evan Boucher, Tyler Grant. They're going to be out there every point on O. Jordan Jeffrey will pick it up. San Francisco clearing everyone to one side there and looking to give Boucher a shot deep. He wasn't able to get open. Taylor's got it in the middle of the field to Grant. Boucher's poached. It's hard to get to him. And he immediately oh, puts it yes. up to Jordan Jeffrey. A high floater disc. Two defenders coming on. Oh, great hands by Jeffrey. And Jeffrey is able to read that as it's coming in right over his head. Got sandwiched by two defenders. Ray, just like you called it, uh, Boucher, Grant, Jeffrey joining together on that point. Yeah, I think they're really looking to uh, go deep downwind there. Uh, Boucher certainly was looking for it as a cutter at first. Uh, and as soon as he got the disc, he was looking to throw it deep. So a minute 11 left. Portland's going to try and take their time, I think, going down and scoring. San Francisco's trying to get a turnover and get another point upwind before the end of the quarter. Norton's back in at the hub. San Francisco playing a little junky this way as well. Hart chasing around the cutter in the middle. Oh, Sujioka so took a slightly bad line, almost had a layout D there. A lot of holes in that zone once you break through it. Burden's got it. A little backhand uh, flip. Too easy. Eli Friedman. The wind is really picking up. You can see the players' uniforms rippling. Wow. And that pull doesn't go anywhere. San Francisco take over at half field. Matt Kissman with the disc. A double team. He breaks that. The casino who swings it wide. From Jeffrey, the hammer. Whoa, look at that hammer. Oh, oh a great defense. Great, D. great catch, B. And Portland's on the run, but they turn it over right away. you got to take care of the disc and now win. So Casino will pick up. He's got Kissman open on the sideline, but he doesn't see him. Boucher, little hammer over the double team. Clock running down, 10 Jordan, seconds. Jordan Jeffrey. Uh, oh, oh we let it go. Oh, and now ran out of time. It's like a timeout is called. Oh, by Safety. Is there any time left though? And I think we're gonna probably see just a scuba over the top, and Jeffries is gonna be able to move backwards and grab it. That sounds right. That's my prediction. <laughs> oh, you called it, Ray. Oh. What a call. No, it wasn't what a, a scuba. It was a high release push pass, but the uh, <laughs> the idea was <laughs> looked like they were standing still. Wow, what an exciting way to end the quarter. Ray, we talked about uh, some of the new players on this dogfish team and how it takes time as a team to develop chemistry. I think we've seen it here in the first half, what you were saying about players that know each other, that have been playing together for a long time. They know exactly what they can do. They almost know what they're going to do before they even do it. And, and you can't put really a price on that. Uh, it's hard to quantify chemistry on a team. No, and I think you have to set up your O-line that way. And, and the Dogfish have. They have Boucher and Grant and Taylor, guys who played together. Yeah. Uh, several of those guys on Revolver in the last couple seasons. 
Hey and Casino immediately hucks it up. Win. Jordan Jeffrey up. He's oh, 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 and another great read by Jordan Jeffrey on a disc that was it looked like trailing away from both players. Jeffrey finds Boucher in the middle of the field. Ooh. Oh, Caulfield with wow. great hands. Great hands on Caulfield. Good part. start to the second quarter. It looked like a crazy throw. Jeffrey just read it perfectly. And McCarty with the pull. Throws an outside in blade. That doesn't. That's not an easy disc to catch, I think, was why he's throwing it that way. Kenton's got it. San Francisco out in man-to-man -man defense. Eli Friedman with it. Camden Allison Hall coming in on the cut. Makes a great cast. Disc slightly behind him. Up the line. Oh, up line, the hook is going to be enough. No, didn't stand up. Didn't sit up in that wind enough. Tried to throw it hard to get it all the way there, but didn't allow the wind to help keep it up. It's a tough balance. Playing with Mother Nature. So Jaeger picks up. There's Caulfield, a double team. He's got nothing. He's going to have to get rid of it. Oh, they're calling time. Turnover. Tur called a stall was called. Thought Seven. he was in trouble when he had that double team. He's not a handler. Number 10, Seven second stall here in the MLU. Quick cut right in front of the disc. Dryden can't get around to get a D on that. Um, inside break. Mm, great throw. A nice grab on his knees. Topher Davis with the pull for Portland. Really the combination of uh, the seven second stall, the legal double teams, mm -hmm. uh, and a cutter with the disc uh, can, can boil down to a turnover like it did right there. Casino with the disc. She's Meyer. Or Jeffrey. Mac Taylor in front of the defense. Ooh, oh, great bid. Great bid. He needed to come to that disc. But Meyer was able to get it. Ooh. He breaks. Comes back to Casino. He sees Boucher. Doesn't look him off. And oh, there's oh. a big huck up in the air. Oh. Floating, blading. Jeffrey can't read that one. Wind was wrecking havoc with that disc. I mean, they've seemed to put Jeffrey's up field, Jeffrey up field because, and he has proven yeah. to be able to read the disc in the wind today, but he couldn't sure come enough. up with that one. There's a great deep cut. Taylor chases it down. Portland swings it. Boucher closes. Woodside's open underneath, looking right away for his dump. He did not upfield at all. There's an open cutter. That's Hayes. Hancock moving up the side. Looking for his dump. He's got nothing. Good D by Dogfish there and not giving the Stags a good look. Oh, and they're calling something. Uh oh. It's a technical foul of on some the coach, sort. On it the looks coach. like. Red card. Coming out on the field. I'm not sure what the. He has to wear the the armband of shame, as we call it here. The refs conferring here. San Francisco subs in their D line. So Portland's maintaining possession of the disc. That call was made before the turnover. That's very interesting, Ray, because almost like an unsportsmanlike conduct goes in your favor when a turnover occurs after the fact. Yeah, I think uh, San Francisco would rather have the disc there than, sure. uh, than that call. So we're coming in. Uh, there was an unsportsmanlike conduct on the coach of Portland. 
Borland maintains the disc as before the turnover. San Francisco throws a double team on. Jeremy Norton into the game, handle the disc. Swings it to Kenton, swings across the field to Camden Allison Hall. Back to Kenton. Oh, Ooh, great grab. Great grab. Looking for a deep. Nothing there. Cutter in the middle of the field. And a oh, huge layout by Evan huge. Dryden. Huge layout, Evan Dryden. Using all of his size there. He baited that a little bit. And oh, a immediate hook. It's up in the air floating. Oh! Chris McCarty to pull for the dogfish. An exciting score yeah. marred by an injury on the celebration. That's just a bit outside. Once again, number 24, Jeremy Norton with the disc. Jeremy Norton to pick up. See it? Portland in a horizontal stack. San Francisco man-to-man -man defense playing behind all cutters, which is surprising and with in that upwind direction. But Norton Big puts up. it up. Beat. There's two defenders there. Oh, oh. he just missed it. And that Friedman was just missed it. You're right, Colin. Should have had that. Immediate break to Nathan Hurst. Good D by Portland. Cardi goes down to make sure of grabbing that. Farron's open underneath. Oh, looks him off. Up. Oh. Easily deed. I'm not sure where he was throwing that one. Not a lot going on there, but with Whoa, that seven the wind is going count, crazy now. Wind is picking up collateral material on the sidelines. Okay. Norton swings it. Oh, huge layout D. They're on the goal line now. Tyler Boyd, Tyler Boyd Meredith with, the, with that layout D, I think. He's going to pick up the disc. He's got no dump, so he better make something happen. Breaks. Ooh. He breaks. He's looking for the oh. foul, but he doesn't get it. Interesting. That's a typical play you see a foul on when he reaches oh. out. Oh, oh, there's a huge layout, D. Wow. Getting and a physical foul call. now. Now they call that foul. That was a good call. He did go into him hard with his body there. I think Boyd Meredith a little fired up by that no call and threw a little extra into that D. To break to Allison Hall. And he immediately puts a flick up. It's huge bid. Easily grabbed by Kenton. Uh, inside rifle shot. Great Farron throw. Can't get to it. There's the pull. Grant with it. He's got a deep look. Looks an off double team. He's got to turn around to his dump, which he does. Portland playing uh, the same sort of junky defense that uh, San Francisco has played this direction. It's Casino with it. Finds Boucher. Swings to Grant. Caulfield is, is making the deep yes, cut up the sideline there. Wide it is. Open it's wide there. open. Here comes the D. It's hanging up. Oh. oh. Off his hands. He needed to go to that a little more. Good effort by the it. D coming back to that. Cole Grant in the middle. Taylor on him. Stouffer Davis looks deep and the huck goes up. Caulfield chasing. Oh. Oh. oh! A great Bjork effort. Bjork would not come up with it. A little misread. He corrected. He stumbled. He laid out. Looks like he banged up his quad on that a little too. Crowd get into it now. Casino picks up. Got Jeffrey wide. Jeffrey can boost it in this direction. There's nothing open downfield anyway. Grant looks to use his forehand. Needs to, get, needs to get rid of it. Casino's there for the release. Taylor can also throw it this direction. Ooh. Boucher, nice 
grab of the right hand behind him. Centers to Grant. Cockfish marching it up the field slowly. Very methodical. Nice swing. Kissman made a deep cut, but it looked off. Casino, no mark. He's going to wait for a mark. Makes it inside. Oh, great grab by Taylor down low. And Taylor boosts it. There's Caulfield again. Two defenders. Caulfield le reaches for oh, it. Oh, he pulls it away oh. from the defender. Good concentration by Caulfield. Ripped out of his hands. Pulled that one down. There's the pull. There's the pull. Roll hits near the goal line, rolls deep in the end zone. Norton again with the disc. Seattle stacked on the left side of the field, trying to give some space for cutters. Norton's going to rip this one deep. There oh it goes. Yeah, you called it. Uh oh. Oh, misread by oh, the D. Caulfield. Oh, swing Ooh. wide. Lay it out. McCarty, no. McCarty trying to bring himself to layout for that. Allison Hall makes the grab for the score. Scores 8 7 now in favor of the Dogfish with a minute and 41 seconds left to go in this first half. Yep. Portland got exactly what they wanted out of that set. They left uh, the near side of the field open. Um, Norton had some room to work, and he knew he'd have an open shot of that flick uh, when he got it. Uh, and the Portland player was able to outread the San Francisco player on that disc. So Casino picks up. There's Taylor. He's looking deep. Grant cuts off his cut. Grant's wide open underneath. Oh, nice. Got Caulfield on the wide side. Oh, look at that wide swing. Too. Wow, beautiful. There it is. Pass. Just like that. Caulfield becoming the go-to receiver out there for the Dogfish. And the pull is up. Good deep pull. Going to be caught by Horland. Center to Norton. Wide open, keeping this side of the field open again. It's a great cut. Oh, and there's a good deep look. But the throw is short this time. Dixon's able to D it. There's Corey Lee. Oh, look. Good hold. Uh-oh. Dixon yep. makes the catch right on the line, toes it in. I think his foot was on the line. He's going to, I think it's a spirit call. I think yes, he's saying I he was out. Dixon and knew he, he was out, so he turned. they had to turn the disc over. Wow, I love to see that, Ray. Oh, and there's a foul. Oh, interesting. Jaeger tried to stop the hook and hit the disc. That's a foul. Cardley on, on the mark. Norton centers it. You can hear the hear Coach Rubes. Oh, good layout, Ben. Telling Tyler Board Meredith to push oh. Norton upfield, turn him into a receiver. But he's playing behind him. He's still getting every other disc. And there's a break. Uh, Floaty disc layout, bid. Oh, oh, yes. I think he came down with it. The ref calls it a score. Jaeger trying to claim he had it first and stripped from him, but the ref's not buying it. Just to quickly explain what happened that last call when player was out of bounds, but the ref didn't call it. He knew he was out, so he gave the disc back to the other team, which is pretty cool, I think. Good spirit. Francis is going to have to boost it. Get it to, to Taylor. He oh. rips the backhand. It's up in the air. But not it, far enough. Jeffrey grabs it, tries to throw it up. That's all he had. He had a, just had time to do that, throw it up there. At the end of the half, it's nine to eight, Dogfish. We'll take a break, and we will be back at you for the second half of this exciting game. Great halftime set from PSO, phone sex operators. McCarty with the pull. Oh, wow, nice roll. Oh, look at the D come down the field. Bellinger chases that all the way down. 
a play it out of the end zone. Norton, of course, with the disc. Oh, nobody there. Great pull and great D. Good energy from the D to start off the second half. And that D is now playing some O. Jaeger picks up. Looking on the break side. Ooh. Uh, Ryden can't hold on to it. Oh, Bryden lays out again, but doesn't get this one. Lining that up. Bellinger on the mark, big and there's a big hook. Goes uh, up. Uh, Camden uh, Allison uh, Hall chasing oh. it down. Not in. Uh -oh. oh, 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 what's Some that? Contact. The what refs got to call something there. They have to call something. They call an offensive foul. He'll walk it back 10 yards. He's not... Happy Allison about Hall, it. Not happy. He was trying to get back. Oh, to the foul and for line. chatting, it's another ten and a turn. Wow, what a huge turn of events right there, turn. Ray. He was just trying to get back to the line, but if he had just bumped into McCarty, it would have been fine. But he really laid into him. The huck goes oh, up. Oh, great grab! Wow, great hands by Jackson Stearns. And just like that, what a turn of fortune there for the Dogfish. They were. Certainly going to give up a score, but yet they got a score of their own. Amazing. So San Francisco's D-line. Crushed legs out there. It's Gary Dixon chasing it down. Dogfish up by two. Kenton rips it. Corey Lee's on D. Floating up high to the right. Up in the air. Oh, no, he was out. out. He was out. Wow. Yorkland can't pull it down inbounds. Lucky break had the size advantage on that. And Lee made the good effort in going going early. Don't wait till you can get it when you're out outside there. Nate Hurst picks it up. There's a double team. Throws his left-handed flick around to Taylor. Ooh, oh, nice. there's an open oh, cutter deep. He's going, he's going, he's going. Can, can he, he get there? it? Can he get it? Will it stay in? Yes, it does. He tippy toes in. Wow. A lot of energy for the dogfish in the second half. Coming out fired up. Coming out fired up. Adamson chasing that down. Dogfish up by three now, 11 to eight, with eight minutes and four seconds left in this third quarter. Two scores coming out of halftime. McCarty with the pull. Again, throws it so it can't be received, but the roll is stopped. Norton will pick up. They're going with their flat horizontal offense again. Ooh, risky throw. Pops up. Oh, oh. Has to lay out for it, but can't come up with nice it. Nice bid. The wind just pushing it farther away. Davis unable to chase that down. He made a great effort. There's an instant double team on Jaeger. Drops off. Drops off. Finds Dryden. Dryden. Dryden takes off deep. Ooh, He's going to go for oh, it. Too much. Not a bad look. Dogfish going for that end zone. Bryden's got a lot of speed, but he couldn't track that one down. Portland going into the wind now. Great D on Norton. Can't reset to him. Great defense on the team by San Francisco Dogfish player number one, Ian Ranahan. So Ranahan gets the D there, but I'll tell you what, that was Bellinger. Shutting down Norton. Oh, no, it's a jump no. ball. Oh, crazy. One receiver, three defenders. Ouch. Not a good idea there. That's one too many times going to the well. Mm. And that was good team defense by the Stacks there, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, number 24, Jeremy Norton. Throwing into some deep coverage there. Yeah, Jackson Stern's the only dogfish among three defenders. Norton picks up. Now Bellinger's going to try and not let Norton get the disc back here. Pushes him upfield. 
Oh, and Allison Hall takes off D. No, he, he was, was waiting for, for that. It. it was a well-timed cut. He's a tough cover out there. He's big and fast. Throws a swing back. To Friedman. Swings it to Norton. Dryden in deep coverage. Oh, there's a goes a big deep cut. Oh, hammer swing. Allison Hall oh. can't come up with it. Had to lay out for it, and it's strike. Oh, well, he's always Brent open. Can he, can he get it? Can he get it? Oh, he throws a hammer. Whoa! Oh. Out of the triple team. Throws the hammer. Caulfield, Grant, Taylor, Jeffrey, Boucher out there. Bree Stout. It's in Norton. He's got Burden open underneath. Little quick flip. That was pretty high in the stall count. Bjorklund's got it. No, oh, and a run through wow. D by Caulfield. Grant rips it deep. Here goes Taylor. Oh, he's going, go, he's going, he's going, he's going. Yeah. Oh, he chases it down. A goal. Uh, hey -o. Dogfish are just lighting it up in this second half. Corey Lee with the pull. D-line back on there. Season. Ladies and gentlemen, show our do the Dogfish your support. Defense. Defense. San Francisco junkie. Defense. Defense. Portland content to play catch with it. Defense. Nothing upfield. Bree Stout, Steve Kennan playing catch. Free to Friedman. Bid Cor by Corey Lee. Oh, get it. oh and Adam Farron. Farron right there with a hand. Great D. Sticks a hand in. Will he get rewarded? No. no. Little high. And again, Tyler Boyd Meredith does not get the call he wants on that backhand break. He didn't get that earlier on a similar play. Portland is trying to stop the bleeding here. So immediate double some team points. from San Francisco. It's broken. Stout swings it. Back to Stout. To Kenton. Oh, he had a look deep. Chose not to rip it. And Kenton on the sideline. Friedman over to Stout. San Francisco be, will take this. They're gonna more throws they can cause, the higher the chance for turnover. Kenton got it, and there's a rip. Eventually, it's deep. Ben Laurie chasing it down. Great Lee throw. Let the, let the Portland player get behind him there. Here's the pull. Talked to the training staff at halftime, and I think Chris Hurt, uh, Chris Hart, suffered a fairly serious knee injury. That's um, a shame. Won't see him back today. Um, probably out for the season. Sad, to, sad to hear that. Gonna swing to Jordan Jeffrey. Kissman trying to help him out back there. Can't get free. Pollard comes all the way back. There's Jeffrey. Little backhand break. Finds Taylor. Oh, nice backhand right through the mark. There's a call. Nice grab, Captain Evan Boucher. Okay, pick his call, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh ouch. <coughs> Not something you see a lot here in the MLU, a pick call. No. Not a lot of calls in, in general, really. No? Pretty clean game. Jeffrey looks. Oh, Oof. little contact on that dump D there. Shea open underneath. Kissman gets it back. Should be a deep cut for him. Floats it a little Ooh. too far. I think he was expecting a deep cut. It wasn't there. He still threw it a little deep. Flat stack, here's a deep cut. But Boucher's there. 
Can he get in front? Can oh, what a great oh, catch! Great catch! Just went over his head with one hand and pulled it down. Eli, Eli Blackman with a catch over Boucher. Two in a row by Portland. Now they bring it up to 13-10. It's a beautiful day here at Boxer Stadium. Not as windy as we've seen in the past. A few, few clouds, Mount Diablo visible off in the distance to the east. There's the pull. Pretty good pull in the upwind direction. Floats, it's the first one we've seen caught, I think, in the game. Casino trying to get open on the dump. Great defense by, by Cody Bjorklund on that. Those short passes can be tricky to catch. Jeffrey pulls it. He's got, oh, he's got a deep cut. Taylor keeps it alive. Big up. Goes up inside. Lots of players in there. Can Caulfield come down with it? Yes, yes. he does. Great read. Two defenders bearing down. He just plucks it out of the air. Caulfield. Ray San Francisco playing a lot better this game than we saw them in week one. And don't forget they're playing a stag team. That beat a Vancouver team that beat the Dogfish by 11 points last week. So. Bellinger again races down on the pole. That's hugely important. Oh, oh good D. No, I say there. no call. What? Uh, there's got to be a call there. Sudioko came right through the body to get yeah. that D. Thought he was just going for it. Great effort, but got the body. So the catch, there's no yardage, just the catch is complete there. So that's a lot of with contact the there. A little bumping. A little bumping. So they will move it up it to It was on Jaeger on, on defending the, the dump cut. He's getting a little chippier out there. So the game gets closer. Oof, oh, not a by Jaeger. Yes, that's a turn. Causes a turnover. A lot of bumping. Bree Stout unable to hold it. Oh, great hands. Oh. oh. I think he got a little piece of that. Yeah. Ben Laurie, a little piece of that on the mark. That was the right look down the line foot. there. So swing to Norton right away. He's the engine. Ben Laurie. Ooh, dangerous throw. Oh, yes, he keeps it in. Friedman pulls it down. Uh oh. Wow. Lori up. More bumping. Huge blade. Can he catch up with it? No. no. That's a tough angle. That disc is going away from you as you're trying to track it down. Raphael Hayes unable to come up with it. A lot more physical here. Now there's only seven seconds left in this quarter. They're just going to let it wind down, I think. Um, you're saying, yep, yep. Be content not to turn it over. The risk is too great. Third quarter ends. Dogfish up 14 to 10 over the Portland Stags. Portland with the ball. There's Boucher with the disc. No, oh, yeah. Oh, and he rips it. For that. Is he going to catch no. up with it? Jeffrey chasing uh, after it. It's too little far too much. It's a break to Davis. He's got He's a deep rip. He's looking for the big up. There's Meyer chasing it down. Nobody there to follow. Trying to give and go. Bjorklund oh, wide open. finds the wide open Peter Woodside. Portland coming out strong in this last quarter. Cutting the deficit down to three. It's a big break by Portland to start the quarter. That's exactly what they wanted. And if you're San Francisco, that's exactly what you didn't want. Your O-line to turn it over. You want to soak up clock and score. Was a deep pull there by Portland. So Casino will take it in the middle. It's got a fresh disc there. San Francisco getting a little, little, little confused getting their offense started. Looks like they're going to go horizontal. They got five cutters horizontal to wide field. One dump. Taylor gets it on the open side. He immediately puts it up to Boucher. Uh -oh. Tries to bump for position. 
Lucky he didn't get called for a foul there, but D uh, got it anyway. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yes, the catch inbounds. Again, small ball in front of the, the D. Nothing open upfield. Caulfield chasing around Topher Davis. There's Norton. He's going to look deep. He's got someone open. Boucher on, goes up early oh. but can't get it. But they're making sure if they're going to call that they, they're making the right call. So that's their job. See if the dogfish can bounce back here. There's a pull, pull. Casino lets it hit. It's Boucher right away. Taylor cuts across. It gets looked off. Good D by Portland. Not much. Terms to go deep in their end zone. Finds Boucher. Jeffries is open. Oh, oh Jeffrey drops just it. Turns it over. Jordan Jeffrey just drops the disc there. Ben McGinn will pick up for Portland. Taylor, good D. Oh Taylor wow. really shut that off, forced him to go backwards. Inside break, though, for the yes, score. Yes, it was a score. Quick inside break. Portland crawling back now, only down by one point. The momentum has changed dramatically. San Francisco's O team again tired out, so you've got to put the D line on there, which makes it that much harder to stem the bleeding. Although it was this D line that got them going to start the quarter off. So Jaeger with the disc. He puts it up immediately. Jackson Stearns chases it down. Great throw. It's got two, got a few players there. Wait, there was no mark. Quick double team. There it is. And he finds nice. Ian Ranahan. So nice. So I spoke ill of the D line for, for no <laughs> reason. They looked a lot better than the O line. That's right. Well, I think it was the D line that really got the energy going. Got those points scored. And they're staying out there. Rube says stay Heck out yeah. there. Keep those same. Got a good thing going. Keep it going. Got Norton. And good pull. Oh, wide open, deep down the field. Disc floats. Bellinger chasing it. Bjorkland wow. can't read it. That was certainly a good look, and he had a player open. Bellinger picks it up to Lee. Travel call. Wow, he wasn't even he was, at the line, he right? He was at, at the, the wrong line. line. Interesting. I don't know why you can't take it back there if you wanted to, but that's a rule. Well, the D is set up where you're supposed to bring it. Yeah, so you're it's right. an advantage to, to stop short. Quick oh, flip on the wow. inside. Just like that, mistake turns into a score by Portland, just like that drop by Jeffrey that we saw earlier. And it's a one-point game once again, just under seven minutes to go in this last quarter. Ray, it can be confusing for these players because of all the different lines that are on this field. It's sort of right. drawn more for a, a soccer game, I guess, and that line, you know, it, it, it looks like it's a legitimate line, but it, it's not the end line there. Well, we got the orange cones, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what you got to look for. And uh, since it is such a serious offense to travel, resulting in a turnover, you really have to be super careful. Eli Friedman with the pull. Very short pull. Takes a good roll. For Portland. Now it comes back. Dogfish way. Grant picks up. Got an immediate deep look. There's Dr Jordan Jeffrey. Oh, tries, tries to, to come back around. to it. <laughs> circle around the defender. Can't get it. Offense is not uh, playing nice and steady for San Francisco here. And Portland has a chance to tie going up win. Norton rips it. The win kills it. No. Oh, oh we had a chance to get that. Turned over in the wind. The wind just killed that disc. Boucher will pick up. Dogfish trying to settle down. So let's go to a vertical down. stack. There's Mac Taylor. And he ripped And another it. big pull. Grant Rock. going deep. Oh, yeah. Nice Comes and easy. Down. Nice and easy. Boucher to Grant. We've seen it 100 times. Yeah, Ray, the offense was looking a little ragged. 
before that point. It was a good, they regrouped and got a nice score to go back up by two with just a little over six minutes to go in this last quarter. They're taking a few more risks than I think you'd like your offense to take generally. I don't know if that's a game plan um, or not. I would suspect not. Gary Dixon chases down the pole. First throws, a, centers it to Norton. Ben Laurie has been a big cutter for him. Allison Hall has also been a big cutter for him. A wide swing to Hancock. Again, keeps it alive. Bjorklund. Nothing going on upfield. Double team. Oh, a little bump there. A little bump. Yep, got to call that. Not intentional, but he did run into him. Bjorklund's still looking for his dump. It's got nothing. Throws it up oh. for a break. And wow. a down win score. Ray, we thought the Dogfish were probably were maybe going to run away with this game the way they started out that second half, but Portland getting back into it now. It's just a one-point game. Yeah, so we got to see who can grind it out now. The wind is as strong as ever as it gets later in the afternoon. It's going to be who wants this one the most now. Davis with the pull. Just it's going to land r flat right at half field. San Francisco taking its time. Set up their O. That's Casino is going to pick up. Finds Boucher. Caulfield. Wide open because they're backing him now. Taylor. Jeffrey. Oh, he, oh. oh. I don't know if he didn't see that guy. Caulfield was open behind yeah, the defender. Didn't get it over him. But needed to go over his head. Another unforced error from the San Francisco offensive line. See Portland port swings it all the way across the field. Trying to take advantage of the opportunity. Oh, the wind just killed the, that one. The wind just swatted it down. Swatted it down, you're right. Taylor looks deep. Caulfield running around downfield. Grant breaks inside. Nice wow. backhanded break for Taylor. Resets a casino in the middle of the field. Nice and easy by Dogfish here. Taylor continues to Grant. He's looking for that inside to Caulfield. Not much. Time's running out. There and it is. Stall. Oh, yeah. Really got to pay attention. That stall count, it comes up real fast. Looks like Portland's going to call a timeout here. They do. Interesting. So Seattle takes, Portland, sorry, takes the timeout. Puts in some of their offensive players. Norton will pick up. Burden's out there cutting. They know this is an important point. Opportunity to tie this game. It's a I call. Sure, what a little bump oh. on the mark, I think. Wow. Very tight call there. The refs are trying to keep control of the game, not let it get chippy as the score gets close, I guess. Yeah, good point. There's a swing. Oh, looking for a deep. Portland just going backwards right now. Nothing upfield. Davis to McGinn. Good job by the Dogfish D here. Pushing them back on their heels. Bellinger chasing Norton around, not letting him get the disc. There's a continuation. Oh. Late whistle. It's almost like the player called that himself. Late whistle. McCarty, I think, hit the disc as he ran by. As Kennan was faking. But he had to plead for the call. Kenan with the disc, riding on the mark. He's got a deep shot. Doesn't take it. Oh, Bellinger. Oh, wow. Strip There's maybe be called. Strip call I, that, think so. I think so. And Bellinger's hurt. He is hurt. Both players going hard for that disc. Bellinger comes out, as does Norton. Fresh legs. 
Get it off the line and throw it right back to the line. Oof. Great hands by McGinn. Uh-oh. Puts it up Whoa, wide. Oh, no. It's too much air under that. Uh-oh. Oh, well, we give it right back. Right Sarah back. gives it right back. Wow. Call that a punt, I guess. Make some noise. Time is winding down. Both it's teams taking a long time. Looking a little ragged here. Oh, and a rip. big up, and There's it's got an open the man, D. but it's floating. Oh. oh, good D. No call. No, he was going for the disc, I think. Both players Call going for the disc. There height. was a little bump there. Jackson Stern's height was the difference. I think that was a good no call by the refs. Great D coming racing back and preventing that. That was huge. That could have tied it up for Portland. Dogfish going to get some O-line players in yeah, there. Minute guys, 44. Guys are tired. Gotta change them up. So Dogfish will have the disc with a minute 43 left to go, up by one point. In a vertical stack. Jordan Jeffrey with the disc. A yeah, little bump. Set up a quick play with Mac Taylor diving in. And then going to go deep. Got a little breathing room now. There's Boucher. Finds Caulfield, who gets it up quickly. They're playing Kiss the clock me. now. Oh! Wow, travel, no. Turn, Quick yep. stall. I did, that was a quick stall, I think. Pretty quick. Stags with a chance to tie it up now. Oh, oh. great grab. Boucher runs in front, doesn't leave a seat. He's looking for a hammer. No one will cut for it. Probably wise. Swings it wide. Grant's got to get over and cut that off. He can't get there. Kissman does cut off the next one. Time is winding down. Portland being 30 patient. Seconds. 30 seconds left. The crowd trying to fool them. I don't like the spirit of that, but they've got a score though here. Oh, do they have a timeout? I don't know if they do. I don't know what that call was. They called the bump. They moved it 14 seconds right down to the line. Oh no! Oh, yes, what the goal a is scored. Late they called call. him in. It looked like he was down. I don't know about that. Claiming that his feet were still in I when don't he think caught Port the disc. I don't think Portland had a timeout or they would have called it there. So we're tied up. Eight seconds left. It looks like another overtime potential for the Dogfish. Maybe some free Frisbee, folks. Here we go. Clock starts Grant when he catches it. Pull. To Jeffrey. He's, someone's got to boost oh, it. Oh, throws it away. Time running out. They call a timeout. Do they have a timeout? No, they don't have one. That's a turnover. And Taylor oh. rips it, and it's just hanging I in here. I think there's going to be a. I think he's going to have another opportunity here. Yes, they're going to have to put their mind heads together and sort this out. You can't call a timeout if you don't have one. Two seconds added to the clock. Two point two no. seconds. Oh, we're gonna now it's up to. Well, no, it's gonna come down. We're gonna see a double team from Portland. We're gonna see everyone else in the end zone. There's time for a th a throw before the end zone throw. I think. Do you think, Ray? I don't think there is. Well, Grant is gonna be wide open. It looks like. I'm not I sure why they're making them move ten yards back. I think they're gonna throw it to Grant and then he's gonna throw it up. That's my guess. A little bit of confusion, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's. Grant is ready for the relay. Nope. nope. Goes full in and just not enough. Not no. Wow. San Francisco pulling to start the five-minute overtime period. If we're tied at the end of this, we will go into sudden death. Centered in Norton. San Francisco playing tight defense up front. 
It's Bree Stout, a little double team. Finds Camden, Allison Hall, release. Straight up the line to Bjorklund. Bjorklund lets one rip, backhand outside break. Koji, you. Oh! oh! Koji, catch those, please. You're Koji. giving us a heart attack. He gets there easily, just tries to tap the D. He popped it right up. It's that wind. San Francisco dodged a bullet there that Topher Davis couldn't hold on to that. Ballinger picks up the disc. He must be okay. Shoulder is fine. Makes it up the line cut. Ooh. Looking for a call, not Riding getting it. Looking for the call. He, he had to throw that, but it was covered. Vertical stack from the end zone. Norton picks up, immediately swings it. And a super hammer. blade. Oh, wide open. Lady hammer. It's the only way that was going to be caught because he was wide open. Kept that vertical and didn't bring it, flip it flat where the wind would have hurt it more. Dogfish down for, I believe, the first time of the Done. game. Portland takes their first lead of the game. Then McGinn with the pull. Taylor Casino. San Francisco needs this one. Boucher back to Casino. Grant makes a good hard cut. Caulfield again has been super reliable all day getting open. Upfield to Boucher. Who a boosts big, it? Big, huge throw. Tyler Grant, Steve, two defenders back. Everyone underneath wow. the disc. And Bjorklund comes down with it. Not, Not a good throw. That's not a good decision by Evan Boucher. And, then and here comes the Jack. Caulfield's in position. Oh. And he deeds it. Again. Maybe should have caught that D. 245 left in this overtime period. San Francisco needing to score to even the count. Fish down by one. Casino picks up. Wow. It's trapped on the line. Grant gives him an opening. Caulfield again. They're backing him, so he's going to be open underneath. As Kissman. Finds Jeffrey. Ooh. Jeffrey had to get rid of it. Quick stall count. Went up a little too high in the air. Portland's got time now, but they've aired up. Two defenders back. Oh, but it hangs. It hang oh, oh, he just missed. Woodside just, just missed it. Read it. That could have been some icing on the cake, but an opportunity for the dogfish here. Minute 50. They're in a vertical stack. Oof. Boucher makes a grab with the body on his legs. San Francisco looks a little tired. I know they're not making yeah. great cuts. Caulfield is open. That's Grant. Grant is open. Double team. He's got to get rid of it. He's been able to swing it back to Casino. Oof. Nobody, nobody cutting in. Nobody cutting for San Francisco. Uh, Boucher makes a great grab with Chris Hancock draped all over him. That's a great time by Safty. By Safty. Each team gets another timeout for this extra five minutes. Minute 18 left. That seems to be the only change for the Dogfish. Boucher got a little banged up. That's why he came out. Disc is in. Immediate break. Backhand inside out. Jeffrey Grant keeps it alive. Going down on his knees. Finds McCarty, Oof. who continues to Jeffrey. Oh. A great grab by Jeffrey on a disc. It's hopping up into the air. Oh. He's got Kissman up the field. He's looking for the call. No. Jeffrey's too good a thrower to make that. I got to believe he was fouled on that. He's too good a thrower to have that happen to the disc when he releases it. Well, uh -oh. He's got it. Oh, Ooh. great save. 40 seconds left. 
Portland's going to be content just to double team from San Francisco. They've got to make something happen here on D. They can't afford to score, and they need the disc back. 30 seconds remaining in overtime. Got to take some chances. 30 seconds. Yeah. Now they're just going to. 20 seconds remaining. Oh, and they. Wow, interesting. Oh, oh, huge layout. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Portland comes down with it. And that is going to win the game for Portland. That's going to do it. Well, I have to get my hat off to Portland. Two-point lead with 11 seconds left. They made a great comeback, and I think Darkfish just let this game go. Nothing to do now but just to run this game out. A disappointing loss for the Dogfish here at home, their first home loss in their inception. So An immediate rip. Cardi's down the field. Mm -hmm. And that one's deed. And time will run out. And there's the horn. Portland comes from four points down. Let's tie it up, take it to overtime where they prevail. Big comeback by Portland. Got to give your hats off to them. They did a great job coming back. Dogfish let it slip away. They're a young team. They're going to get better as the season goes along. But uh, it's tough. They'll get better next week when they have Drew Kim coming back. Their record now one and three. We'll see, Ray, if they will be in the mix in this uh, Western Conference. But there's only uh, ten games that they play, so... Yeah, it's going to be hard to bounce back from that loss. We'll be back here. Uh, May 17th, I believe. May 17th. Vancouver comes to town. Well, it's three weeks. We hope you'll join us here in the stadium. May 17th when the Dogfish take on the Vancouver Nighthawks. For Ray Ford, I'm Colin Sherstead. Thank you for watching the MLU. We'll see you on May 17th.